Mister, I see you. <laughs> I'm hanging out with Benjamin Bratt and Nikki Glaser. Give it up. <laughs> My next guest has a unique way of giving back. He does it through storytelling. Um, he's made short films for nonprofits worldwide, including an orphanage in Africa, a charity in India, and a mentoring program right here in LA. And his films have helped raise hundreds of thousands of dollars. The best part is he does it all for free, which makes him a rad human. Jake Baramontes. <laughs> meet Benjamin, meet Nikki. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. This guy. So I heard, I know, you're incredible. I've been so excited about telling this story. So you started when you were a teen making films? That's yeah. young. I got lucky because my school had a documentary film class. And so I wow. got really committed to it and I fell in love with it. And the church that my family went to growing up supported a nonprofit that sent doctors and nurses into war zones. And so I thought, that's my story. So I went to the executive director and I said- As a teen? As a, te your, as a wow. teenager, I was 16 and I said, I wanna go and I wanna tell this story. It was like, you wanna go into a war zone with a UN escort and you're gonna tell that story. I was like, that's exactly right. Wow. So after some back and forth, I convinced him and then I went to my parents. I said, mom, dad, I'm going to Ivory Coast. And my dad, who was a firefighter at the time said, I know wound treatment, I know triage, I can help, I'm going. He didn't want you to go by He didn't want me yeah. to go by myself. He was yeah. like, I want to oversee this process. My mom said, I spoke French in high school. They speak French in Ivory Coast. I can be of help. I'm going to go with you. Oh, so I the three it. of us went. And the thing that was really cool for me was that I realized something as soon as I got there and I spent 10 days there was that we're so much more similar than we are different. Amen. There's yeah. so much more that connects us than makes Divides. us separate. Yeah. Yeah. And I told the film and... I watched as the organization raise money and raise awareness using that piece of content. And I thought, wow, this is so much more than a craft. It's a tool. We can really change people's minds and hearts and further an idea using storytelling. So that really set the foundation. Tell about uh, some of the films that you've been making. So one of the ones I'm really proud of that you mentioned was a film that we did in Tanzania for an organization called Small Steps for Compassion. Yeah. They help take girls who have been orphaned and they give them a home. And so while I was there, I noticed that one of the schools on the property was being shut down due to some governmental regulations. I said, what is it going to take to keep this school going? They said, we have to rebuild it. I was like, well, what's that going to cost? And they said, it's going to cost $300,000. I said, well, here I am. I've got my camera. We have the means to tell this story. Let's yeah. do that. Let's focus on that. Yeah. So we went home and we, we edited the film, showed it to as many people as we could. And within four months, we raised $300,000 yes. and we built the school. Yes. The walls are up, the roof is on, the foundation's been poured. Kids are going through that school this year. That's so, incredible. So that's a huge success story because I want it to be more than just a nice piece of content. I want it to turn into something physical and tangible that you could look Most at and people. touch. Yeah, that you could hang your hat on and say, we were a part of that. Mm -hmm. We did a project in November in India with an organization called Wings International. Mm -hmm. And there was a group of 27 families living on the edge of a trash dump in India. And so we went and we told their story. And right now we're in the middle of fundraising $200,000 to build them a home, mm -hmm. to give these kids a place that helps them feel like they matter, that their story is important, they have a that they, they have a chance that they're bigger than the circumstance they were born into. Yeah. So that's what we're working on right now with the film that we just made. Oh my gosh. It's incredible. I can you, Benjamin, can you relate with some of the films that you've made, like the characters you get to play, this, you know, the opportunities that you've had in your life? Well, this young man's an inspiration. I mean, he, I mean, he, he, he clearly recognizes that uh, it doesn't matter, you know, what part of the world you come from, that we are truly the stories we tell about ourselves. Mm -hmm. and, and to your very good point, we are more alike than we are different. That's right. um, and there's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of need out there. And I'm truly inspired. And I know when my brother hears your story, he will be as well. He's a documentary filmmaker. Oh, amazing. Um, but uh, I, I'm compiling mentally a list of nonprofits that I want to turn you on to Please. because I think they could benefit from your artistry and your, and your sense of spirit and inspiration. Thank you so much. Our own serves our communities um, that has little to no resources, um, lack of access and exposure. I think the reason why you have so many kids that come through our programming and they come out on the other side being able to experience and explore and explore their wildest dreams is because of a simple phrase we always say, you can't be what you can't see. That clip was from a short film about the LA nonprofit, Our Own, shot by today's rad human, Jake Baramontes. 
He filmed, produced, and edited that video entirely for free, which is so cool. He's with us now along with Benjamin Bratt and Nikki Glazer, and we are also joined by the founders of our own. Everybody say hi to Dustin and Lee. So I know you know Jake, but meet Benjamin, meet Nikki. How you guys doing? Nice to meet you. Bringing right. people together on this couch, couches. <laughs> um, so before we get to Jake's video, tell us about your nonprofit and how it helps the community, how it's helping. Absolutely. So when Lee and I first met, we understood from day one that we both problem solvers. Yeah. So we would focus on nutrition and education. We have STEM and mentorship programs that lead to career pathways. Then we also focus on the mental and physical um, health as well of our students and the community members. So right now we actually built out uh, recently um, this first of its kind of wellness space within the city of uh, Inglewood at our high school. So it's like one of the things that's tackling the mental health right now, which is amazing. It's amazing because it does all start with mental health. Yes, I feel like, you absolutely. know, people overlook that. All the time. Yeah. So how, how did you get involved? You, well, I mean, like I think, I mean, like I think for us in terms of just the work that we do, it was always about how do we do it consistently? Hmm. Um, because if you're not consistent, you can't be impactful. Yeah. Um, but in doing the work, it's, I mean, you know, it is a nonprofit. So it, the work is harder. Nobody sees you. Um, and, and a lot of times that means that we have a a lot of hats to wear. We do everything. Yeah. Oh, so you, your film, Jake, um, about our own led to something really unexpected. So tell everybody what that was. So to give you some backstory, right before I selected them as the first organization, I saw that Sony had just released a brand new camera that was a small, compact cinema camera. So I did what most logical people do. I reached out to the director of marketing, North America Sony, and I said, I think you guys should give me that camera for free. <laughs> And I sent it, and I didn't expect much in return. And a few days later, I got a message back saying, we've reviewed your material. We love what you're doing. Send us your shipping address. Mm -hmm. And so the camera was on my doorstep a week later. Yeah. So, And it doesn't I, stop there. It doesn't stop there. I yeah. went out, and I made their film. And I sent it back to Sony, and I said, thank you guys so much for being a part of this story. This is what we were able to create. Found out that film made its way all the way to the president of Sony, and they said, our own has inspired us to create our own campaign called Create Action. We want to give away 10 films to 10 nonprofits around the United States, giving each of them $100,000, 50 grand in cash, 50 grand in Sony gear, and we want our own to be the first nonprofit that we select. Lots of people do want to help. They don't know how, they don't that's know where right. to put their yeah. money, they don't know yeah. where to trust, where it's going. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like important. it's, that's important. So the, the fact that you're doing this, Jake, it's really helping this and igniting that whole thing with Sony. That's amazing that they started yeah. doing this for other people too. Like that's the point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like to do something, inspire somebody else to do something else or be a part of what you're doing. It's, it's all about helping people, especially at a certain point in your life. You're like, I've been blessed, so Absolutely. let's bless others. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. a big thing in and, our and, household. And what we say, like the more you give, uh, the more you receive, the more you give, right? Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what we wanted to focus on as well. Just, hey, the more we can receive and bless others, that's what we and do. And it feels good to bless Absolutely. others. It feels it really good. Yeah. And you feel connected Very instead much. of you divided. community. Yeah. yeah. yeah and it brings you together. And I think one of the things that we're lacking most is we feel so separated from each other. We feel so isolated. Mm -hmm. And this opportunity has built family, like Lee and Dustin. Absolutely. It's yeah. built family in Tanzania. It built family in India. An opportunity. An opportunity. Yeah. 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 Opportunity. Well, we talked to your friends at Sony, and guess what? They're giving our own $15,000 in product for you to make more content and share your story what? more broadly. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's not all. Sony, <laughs> Sony's also donating an additional $50,000 in cash to support your expansion of wellness centers to the Bay Area. They're wow. very moved. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. And it's amazing wow. to be so bold. You know what I'm saying? That's People be more bold like that because people want to help. Just that, ask. that guy was just like, man, I didn't even know this existed. This bold dude just walks in and now... It's opened up so many doors for so many people. So that all started from the one domino, man. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you Jake, so you're much. rad. Yeah.